In this video, I'll teach you how to automatically highlight alternate data groupings in Microsoft Excel. I want to automatically highlight data groupings in this data set over here. And here's how. I want to highlight groupings based on this column over here, based on the order date. In other words, every time the order date changes, I want it to be shown in a different color. And in order to do that, we obviously have to first make sure that the data is sorted in the correct order and that we don't have any blank values here. So what I want to do is I want to have the data highlighted every time we go into an alternate data grouping based on column A. For example, I want this data set over here where the value in the column A is January 1st to be a different color from this grouping over here where the value in column A is January 2nd. And then as we go to January 3rd, we want another highlight and same with January 5th and so on. And this is what we want to achieve. We want alternate data groupings to be highlighted. And here's how we can do it. There are two basic steps for achieving this. The first step is to insert a formula within a helper column. In this case, I will use column C as my helper column, but you can use basically any column within your spreadsheet as the helper column. And we need to type this formula, which is currently on the screen, within the second row of that column. We need to keep the first column or the header column blank. Otherwise, the formula will return an error. So make sure you keep the header blank and insert this formula over here in row two of your helper column. So now I will go ahead and copy and paste this formula into the second row of my helper column, which in this case is cell C2. So here's what the formula looks like when inserted. And what this formula does is that it uses an if statement to compare the values in column A. And whenever the values are equal, it will return the value from the cell above. And as we drag this formula all the way down, as so, you can see that this returns either a one or a zero for our alternate data groupings. So this if statement, as I mentioned, compares each cell in column A with the cell above it. And it either returns zero, or if the value of each cell in column A is not equal to the cell above it, it will use the modulo formula. And the modulo formula will return the remainder after one number is divided by the other. That said, when dragged down, this formula will generate ones and zeros for our alternate data groupings, as demonstrated here in column C. Now let's move on to step two. In step two, I will first select the range to which I want to apply the highlighting to. Then I'll go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, and I will select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And I will copy and paste this formula, which is currently on the screen, in this box over here, as so. And what this formula will do is that it will highlight all cells within the selected range whenever the value in column C, that is our helper column, is an odd number. And now that I've inserted the formula, I'm going to go to Format, and I'm going to select a color. And then I'll click on OK, and OK again. And as you can see here, alternate data groupings have been highlighted as desired. And these two simple steps are how you can automatically highlight alternate data groupings in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching this video all through the end. If you got value from this video, make sure you like it so YouTube pushes it out to more people. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for today. Bye now.